any venue you see me. Just so you're fuzz. Just follow me around. <laughs> Okay, so actually we are going into a different match. My apologies. Okay. We have Joka That's the Ness. Nice. Yes, Stereo Kid. So we've got jo Jokamo? Jokamo? I don't remember how to say his name. I know the guy, but I can't remember how to say his name. Joe Camo. We've got Joe Camel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not Joe Camel. <laughs> no, that's not Joe Camel. I'll call him Joe. That seems like uh, it's probably right. So we've got... That's game one. So. Yes, so we've got Jokomo. For those of you just joining, I have been taking notes all day long, and so have the other commentators. And what we're doing is we're collecting data so that we know what's going on as the tournament progresses. It's on just some sheets of paper, and I'm just writing down names and games and who wins and what characters they are. But the fun part of all of this is now I can reference back and go, hey, Fuzz, you got four-stocked by Mr. LZ, right? Oh, I got hella four-stocked. <laughs> I did 12%, and I was proud of that. And then he did 10% to himself with a 1, and then healed it with a 7. Okay, so looks like we're going that. into it. Yes, we're so, off with game number one. Fuzz, take it away, my friend. So, Jokomo on Marth. And this is, I've heard uh, some Nessa say that this is traditionally a pretty hard matchup. And I can see it, because Marth, you know, big range. Ness has to either commit to a fair or a dash attack, or... He has to come in a little more than he'd like. That Actually, was a really good yeah, um, that falling great. aerial. That, that was definitely very well spaced. Good forward air to interrupt PK Thunder 2. However, now Stereo Kid has a little bit of momentum on his side. Wasn't able to convert too much off of it, but they're just exchanging blows here in neutral. Um, now, this is going to be a very par a, a, what's a What's a good word for good it? Good reverse good. That was very well done. Uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Wow. I think the word looking for is dunk. Yes, dunk is a good word. <laughs> Uh, the word I'm looking for is polarized. It's going to be a very polarized match. The polarization isn't going to be just, hey, one extreme to the other. It's going to be who has momentum, because both of these characters actually combo each other very, very well. Yeah. Because Martha is just the right weight for the, all the knockback and everything. That Ness has good for its match. Seals that stock. However, Ness has a lot of trouble getting in on Marth, and when Marth gets a hold of him, Ness is also within that same range. Oh, that, that, oh, wow. With no both punish, yeah. I think they were both kind of so surprised that the other messed up. Yeah. You know, when you kind of go, uh. <laughs> <laughs> That, wait, what happened? I need to do something, right? I wasn't expecting you to miss. Oh. Wow. PK Thunder two, or 1. Well just, done. Just Edgar to them. <laughs> something I'll see a, a lot is that I'll see a local um, Ness NK use, and I have no idea. Like Sometimes it works beautifully, and sometimes I just have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny to watch, because as, as he uses PK Thunder, you're like, which one's it going to be? <laughs> right. Okay, good. Uh, Dibble to cancel back air. Uh, doesn't quite cover the Ooh. roll away with the up smash. If he would have gotten a tipper right there, that would have been the stock, and we'd have a much different game right now. And instead, Stereo Kid get a little, gets a little momentum, gets a... Has a combo start, gets the PK fire into the down throw. That's so much damage when that happens. Good air dodge to get out of that Ooh. situation. Gets the forward smash, connects the tipper, takes that stock. We've got a two-stock game, ladies and gentlemen. That was still beautiful DI from um, Stereo Kid, though. Like, if that wasn't a tipper, that wouldn't have killed him. That might yeah. not have even sent him off stage. Yeah, I can agree with that. That was, that was the absolute, like, furthest he could have DI that. Down air, up air, even with DI on the down air, going to uh, yes. The up air that, excuse me, Ness's up air is actually really, really powerful. It's got a lot of knockback growth to it, and it, the knockback growth is kind of minimal, so on the, it's weird. I don't know exactly how to describe it. It's got a low base knockback, but a good knockback growth yeah. is what I'm looking for. So you can use it to help chain grab fast followers. Yep, exactly. Chain grab. Oh. oh. Hey, the, uh, the blast zone is not your friend, Jokomo. Well, that's, it's, not, it's not like football where you want to go into the blast zone. No, not at <laughs> Not the preferred direction. This this is not <laughs> NFL blitz. <laughs> Martha would probably be, he'd be like a wide receiver or something. He wouldn't actually like get down and dirty. <laughs> Ness would be the center. He just snap it and yeah. then just get run over. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. God, um, it would be Fox or Falco three, being the quarterback. Two, no. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Fox or Falco would be the quarterback. Okay, Captain Falcon. Back. Captain Falcon would be back, the running back. Definitely, definitely. Ooh, really, really good there. Very well back. done. Gets the grab. Down Ooh. air. Starts a combo. Doesn't get a whole lot started off of it, though. Good backer. Sends him off stage. God, what he's is? just putting this pressure on him. That's that was Those were some very strange and like unorthodox, like because of the moving, uh, the horizontally moving platform yes. from Smashville, it got some really, really weird, like, um, Jokomo was in hit stun, but then, like, platform canceled and then went back on the platform. So it made this very big scramble situation. Ooh. Marth getting tippered. Not used to that. Some taste of his own medicine there. But as I was saying, the um, that scramble situation, it's very uh, scramble situation. Oh, really, really far can combo there. Scramble situations, I would I would say, benefit Ness in this matchup very, very much. Yeah, I can definitely agree with that one. Now, I, I don't think that that backer was the correct decision because I think he could have gotten more off of a down air instead, like down air to re-grab or something. Instead, it sends Jokomo off to the side onto the stage, giving him full stage control. 
really, really good angle there. That's hard to hit. No way. <laughs> no. Oh my god. No punish on that either. He could have dunked him. He could have forward smashed. He could have grabbed. He could have. He, he tried to jab him. Yeah. Which actually jab may have been the the optimal decision right there because minimal knockback. Oh, Jumping okay. into it is definitely not the correct decision though. I mean, I think he meant a forward air. Probably. He just wasn't. But space even a forward air. Right. Ooh, really, really good back air. Yes. Triple down air to back air. <laughs> How about that third downer? You know he's thinking like, okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> like, okay, I guess I can't do much about this. The first time it's on me. Second time it's on me. Third time <laughs> it's even more on me than it previously was. Okay, good. Uh, non tip before. It's not, oh, it didn't have a jump. Yeah, he didn't have a jump. He thought he did, and then he got caught in his PK fire animation, so there's no way he could use a uh, PK Thunder to get back up. Don't Jordan try to grab. for those shield grabs. <laughs> oh, that was so close. Uh, that would have been gnarly, dude. The, the, the flutter, like, down tilts into the down air. Yes. Ness's down tilt is so vicious when you hit it. It's but even good if you miss or they shield it. Yes, because it's uh, it's got such little start up and wind down lag on it. Yeah, it's, it's a very fast move. <laughs> oh, it's the tech. He laughs about it though. Jokin was just, he says, "Yeah, we got this." Yeah, like, I mean, that's silly, but okay. Okay. Should have up tilted there, bro. Yeah, that was that Nair was a very gonna be a very awkward conversion, even with. Even not accounting for like SDI and stuff. Yeah, I don't think he intentionally SDI did. I think he was trying to DI for the back for the up tilt and ended up DIing for the <laughs> neutral air. Oh, double dip. Double, double dip. There we go. Now we've got a one stock game. Both players down to their last straw. However, Jokomo's kind of on his oh. winner's bracket life. I think he is. I can't tell if this is winner's bracket. Yeah. Uh, Seru kid. I would assume he's still in winners. Yeah, he's pretty good at this game. I've heard. That should okay. be it. There it goes. That is one of the nastiest confirms. Yes, it down is. Down tilt into up air. Down tilt, it, like short hop up air. Even just double jump cancel if you really are feeling cheeky. Bingo. So Stereo Kid taking it. 2-0, uh, two stocks in game one, one stock left in game number two. I'm going to write this down. I think so, yeah. SK1. Okay. So, let's see who we have next. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs> You're not the only one, bro. <laughs> But they even have the sign there. Yeah, but the sign that is it very clearly says "Go this way," but the problem is, is it's written in like pin. So you can't read it. No, you can't. I can't read it from here, and it's five feet away. <laughs> and then on top of that, it's not in a very conspicuous place. It needs to be there. It needs to okay, be where yeah, you turn sense. your head. Yeah, that's Whoa. a good point. And it needs to be in like sharpie marker. And then we need to put like a neon sign behind it or something like that. Hey, <laughs> we need another arrow pointing to the sign with the arrow on it that says "Go that way." Um, I think was, they would see it. So it, there's <laughs> a – I got to pick on a buddy of mine that, that I work with. His name is Mike, and he's a really good guy. And he was in my wedding party, as a matter of fact. But they, I work in downtown Dallas. There is a Chipotle in downtown Dallas. It is in a building with a giant arrow that goes from the top of the building that's like eight stories high down to the bottom, points towards the door and says, Chipotle. <laughs> okay? Uh-huh. He goes by back and forth. Every single day in front of that thing, did not notice it until I pointed it out, and he went, "Oh, that's a big that's where the sign <laughs> that says Chipotle." And I'm like, "Yeah, you, you can't miss it, but you missed it." <laughs> I would say you can't miss it. You can't miss it, except that you did. Yes. So you apparently you can, and I'm I don't know how, but he's a good guy. He's uh he's actually part of the the like older school FGC around here. Like he went to a Mortal Kombat 2 tournament the other day. Lord. Yeah. Actually, he bumped into Bwet at a place called Free Play Arcade not too long ago. Not Free Play Arcade. I forget what it's called. I think it may be Free Play. Either way, it's um, it's a bar slash arcade that you can go out and hang out at, and you pay entry when you get in, and it's like 10 bucks.